Hey what's up guys, today I am celebrating my Butcher birthday by doing the Butcher birthday tag. This was originally made by Average Joe Reed, so I will leave the link to his channel and his original video in the description. Go check it out uh, if you are celebrating your Butcher birthday as I am. Um, my very first Butcher video was uploaded on the 28th of January 2019, so that means it's my two year anniversary of being on Butcher and honestly it feels like longer. I feel like I've been on here like forever, <laughs> I feel like I've been edged by being on Butcher but I'm not complaining, it's pretty fun. And my very first video on my channel isn't like a butcher one, it goes back to 2018, I think July, I uploaded like an Ibiza vlog, and that's my very first video. My first butcher video was 28th of January 2019. <laughs> I forgot the year there. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please subscribe, and let's just get started with the questions. So I actually decided, before I do the questions, I'm going to insert a clip of my very first butcher video. It was my January 2019 wrap up. It is so bad, the lighting is awful and the shadow makes it look like one of my eyes is like droopy. It's, I don't know, you'll see for yourself. It is so bad and I am not explaining myself at all. I don't even explain what the books are about, I don't think. Like I've watched it a couple of times but not anytime recently. I just remember it being so bad. I'm like bright red in it. Um, the lighting is the worst thing in the world. I don't know what I was thinking at all. But you'll see for yourself. I'm just going to insert like a very short clip right here. The second book I read was The Great Gatsby. And again, I really enjoyed this book. I thought all the characters were like super interesting, really fascinating. The relationships between them all and how it works out, I just thought was great. And I don't have that many thoughts on it, but I did really enjoy the book. I'm glad I read it. Again, it was quite easy. It's really short. So um, this one anyway, 100. So I hope you have not unsubscribed after viewing that. I can like picture the video myself like so clearly and it's so bad. I think I last watched it like maybe like five or six months ago but anyway let's just move on. So question number one is how many years on booktube are you celebrating and I've already said two years. Um, feels like longer. Feels like I've been here for ten years but I love it, so <laughs> that's all I have to say for that, pretty much. Question number two is, what has kept you motivated to continue making videos? And recently, I feel like it's just like, I actually do enjoy it. I went through a phase at some point last year where I just was in such a slump where I couldn't like think of like creative ideas and I was like kind of over like talking about books. Like I was still reading a lot, but like actually just sitting down and talking about books. I was like, I don't know if I want to continue doing this, but then I don't have any other hobbies or any skills so I was like you know I just have to push through and you always do push through like any little slog genre or anything or like slumps you always push through and I just genuinely enjoy making these videos and talking about books and you know reading specific books to talk about in videos and stuff I don't know it's like gives you something to do and like I said I don't really have any other hobbies or anything other than like reading and then making booktube videos which are kind of like one and the same I don't honestly think I would read as much if I wasn't making booktube videos because the motivation to read so much wouldn't actually be there because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like in a way I'm reading to like, not show off, I don't know how to phrase this, but like I read to like talk about the books more than anything, like I don't just read for the sake of reading. I don't know, I don't think if I've made books or videos I would really read that much and I can't really say about before because I started reading in January 2019 and then that's when I made my first video, like I've never been a reader without making videos so that is not even what the question was asking but I just went on a little tangent there so anyway um question number three is what are three of your favorite videos you've made in the past year and why so for this one I'm going to have to say definitely my Midnight Sun review and my Ballad of Sombers and Snakes review because for both of them I read the book in like full like one sitting Midnight Sun took 11 hours I sat down and read it for 11 hours straight and the Ballad of Sombers and Snakes was nine hours I think and I didn't struggle with the Ballad of Sunbirds and Snakes as much but like Midnight Sun my eyes were like hurting like physically sore and like as soon as I put the book down I was like okay I sat down I'd been taking notes on my phone throughout I sat down tipped the, night, the notes on my laptop like couldn't even read the screen properly my eyes like actually hurt and then like filmed the video straight away like got the video edited so fast and got it up straight away and I was just really proud of that that both times I was the first person to review the book online um, it's just like it feels like a good achievement. I know that it doesn't really mean much anyway like in the long term But it is like just an achievement to say like I was the first person to have a review up of both books online um, And also like the reviews from both of them was really good as well. The third one uh, I feel like a lot of people say they really loved my like Percy Jackson blue food video 
I feel like that didn't come out <laughs> the way I wanted it to, but it was really fun to film. And like, make the cake and stuff. Oh, no, I know. The Midnight Sun Cake. Making that Midnight Sun Cake was such a fun experience because I hadn't actually like baked anything in forever. And just getting to bake a cake on video and like make it look like, or try to make it look like a pomegranate, like it was just so fun. Um, and I actually think it turned out not bad. But it was just like, it was fun experience to film, it was fun experience to edit, it was fun to like get everyone's reaction, like everyone watching it, like I just really enjoyed that overall. So definitely the Midnight Sun Cake and then the two reviews. I also was the first person, this is just me bragging at this point, but I was the first person to um, talk about Midnight Sun coming out. I was the first YouTube video up about that topic. And when the when they announced the movie for The Battle of Songbirds and Snakes, which I don't know what's happening with that, I've not heard any news since then. But when they announced that there was going to be a movie of that, I was also the first person to get a video up announcing that as well online. So I was pretty proud of that as well. So, you know, some may say that I am um, a scoops. What do they call it? Like reporters? Like, I don't know. I'm just talking rubbish now. <laughs> so, <laughs> question number four is what have you struggled with on booktube in the past year and how did you overcome that struggle? So after I had a period of time, like when kind of the Battle of Somewhere as a Snakes like time, my views were so good. I was gaining so many subscribers. Like every other video, I was like saying like, thank you for 600 subscribers. Thank you for 700 subscribers. Thank you for 800. Like, and then I had like 1K around that time as well. Like, so I was just gaining like so many subscribers so fast in the first half of the year. And then that kind of like just stopped and my subscriber growth like completely like stagnated. And it's been like kind of tough to gain subscribers like in a, since then, I don't know. Like I do still gain kind of consistently, but like nowhere near. Like there was a time where I was gaining like three to five subscribers a day. And then now it's like five a week maybe, which is like not very good in comparison. But you know, I've got over it. Like that was kind of what helped put me into like a slump was just like, I was like, no one's subscribing anymore. Like nobody likes my videos. Um, But then I kind of got over that mindset and I was like, you know, there is like people, like, I still get like, consistent views, there's people like subscribing, I have like people that have been with, with me like since day one, like still watching, so obviously I'm like doing something right. So that was a little bit of a struggle, like just kind of doubting myself and like the fact that I was not gaining subscribers anymore. But yeah, I kind of got over that. Um, although I have to say, like obviously it does still bother me a little bit, but <laughs> that's just because I'm human, um, believe it or not. So question number five is choose one moment from the past year on Booktube you would love to relive. And I would say gaining or like hitting 1000 subscribers, that was like such a milestone. Like I feel like even people that have like, I don't know, 10 million subscribers, they probably remember like hitting that 1k. Like it's just like such an exciting achievement. You just really feel like you've made it. You feel like you're famous. Um, everyone's like congratulating you. Like, I don't know, it's just really fun. Um, and like really makes you proud of yourself. Like. I feel like that's the one big goal. Like obviously like every like 100 subscribers, like you really appreciate as well. But like that 1K just has different. <laughs> if you've hit 1K, you'll know what I'm talking about. Unless you are one of those people that gained like 5K subscribers in two days and then get off my video, you're not wanted here. <laughs> so um, question number six is, shout out a huge, huge supporter of your channel. And I gave out some shout outs at the end of last year. So I wanted to do someone different. So I hope my group chat isn't mad at me. Um, I love everyone. And then obviously I shouted out some people in that video, but I wanted to do someone different. So Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe. She is just like a shining beacon of light. She leaves the longest, like most detailed comments on all my videos. Um, she watches like the entire video, like from start to finish. She has thoughts on every book I talk about and I just appreciate it so much. Like, it's just like, so nice to have someone like actually listen to what you're saying and obviously like a lot of people are like this but she just always like every video like consistently is like there commenting liking even the ones where um like the wheel of time videos for example she <laughs> puts the video on mute so i get watch time and like comments like watching on mute and it just like makes me feel so happy so thank you so much olivia and also like her videos as well are just amazing like go over to her channel i'll obviously link it in the description she makes like so many fun videos, like so in depth, like she really knows how to like describe what she loves about books and everything, um, like so well. And she just always like has like the most interesting insights. And she's also doing series right now where like she read the Twilight Saga like backwards. She's currently reading the Percy Jackson books back backwards. So I just love Olivia. So go and check out her channel. 
for sure. Question seven is what is the best book you've read in the past year? Um, obviously I have a top 10 books of 2020 video, so go check that out. Um, I'm not even gonna say, go watch that. <laughs> Number eight is where do you see your channel in a year's time and what do you hope to have achieved? Um, I guess I'll still be here, hopefully. I really want to make more travel vlog videos and stuff. I love like traveling and like making videos and vlogging like different cities and stuff, but that kind of is out of my control right now for obvious reasons. Um, so hopefully I will have done some more of those like in the second half of this year, if possible. And then as for like numerical achievements, I've also already last year I hit like 100,000 channel views overall, which was also really cool. Um, and I don't really have like numerical goals for this coming year, like subscribers or views or anything. Like I'm just kind of taking things as they come. So I'm not <laughs> disappointed or anything. Then the final question is just tag someone whose anniversary is coming up. I don't know. If that <laughs> applies to you, do the video. If not, then don't do the video. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know when people's birthdays are, or anniversaries are, but if you have your bookshelf anniversary and you, soon, let me know. And if you make the video, also let me know in the comments and I will go and watch it. But that was all of the questions. So thank you so much for watching and subscribing and being here for the last two years or the last year or the last week or the last day, or if this is the first video of yours that, of, of mine that you've watched, Thank you. Um, I hope you subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video and leave a like and leave a birthday cake emoji in the comments if you watch this point. Sometimes I forget to say that at the end of videos and then as I'm editing I'm like, why did I forget to say that? But yeah, leave a birthday cake emoji and then I'll know you've watched the end and you're a real one. And other than that, I am going to go.